Hello, I'm Rajat Gulati, and today I want to demo for you the features of Cisco Security Analytics and Logging, or SAL for short. Before we dive into the demo though, let me provide you some context. SAL is a central log management service that addresses needs of network operations and security operations teams. It streamlines IT operations by making sure that data is captured from your disparate Cisco infrastructure and well-organized in a cloud data store. It increases visibility through aggregation to allow more informed decision-making. Aggregation of data has another very valuable security-related outcome. It allows advanced threat detections to be applied to a richer data set, resulting in higher fidelity detections with greater conviction behind those detections. With that, let's launch into the demo. This demo for SAL is for the hosted service where the logs are stored in the cloud. So let's start at signon.security.cisco.com. Always a great way to begin your day, especially if you live in a security operation center or SOC. I will sign in using my Cisco account. And I will immediately see that I'm taken to a page which has all of the products that share the same credentials through Cisco SSO. Now, since SAL's event viewer sits in the Cisco Defense Orchestrator or CDO, I'm gonna navigate to the CDO product. I immediately land up seeing all of the tenants that are associated with my account, and I'll choose any one tenant. This here is the CDO landing screen. Under the monitoring tab, I'll navigate to the event logging page and immediately I'm presented with the secure way of sending your events to the cloud. Since this is a SaaS service, we make sure that all data both in transit and at rest are encrypted in the cloud. Immediately I see that I'm presented with an event viewer that is showing me the events of all of the devices that are sending logs to Sal. We have the date and timestamp right here that shows the date and time of the events. I can also see that I have the device type. I have both Cisco ASA, that is the Adaptive Security Appliance, as well as the Firepower Threat Defense devices sending events into cell. I can see the event type, sensor ID, and all of the other constituents in this table. I can further go ahead to the right and move any of these columns around as I want or exclude them. Furthermore, by clicking on the search columns tab, I can see all of the other fields that I can populate in the table. Now you might ask, where are these fields? Coming back to this plus sign on the left of the date time stamp, if I click on that, I see the entire log volume or body of data presented to me. All of these fields could be modified to be included in the table. Also, any of the values in this field can be searched upon. For example, if I want to search on this initiator IP, I get, get a click on that and it goes up right there to the search bar. In addition to that, if I want to search for the sensor ID, I can go there and using the AND or 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 any other logical gate, I can go ahead and search for that sensor ID. And then I hit search and lo and behold, the search happens. Once I customize whatever columns I want, I can go ahead and save that view as well. Coming up here, if you can see, the filter tab allows me to filter by log types. So you can see that I can filter either by the FTD events or ASA events. I can specify a start time or an end time, or I can filter by action, sensor ID, initiator IP, initiator port, responder port, etc. This right here on the right provides you a live view of the logs. And this is really a very cool feature because on clicking on the live view, as and when the event occurs on the firewall, it gets populated within a matter of seconds in this event viewer. I can see a lot of NetOps uh, operators sitting on this live view and seeing what's happening on the network real time. 
going back to the historical view, I can go ahead and now see that I can specify a certain period over which I want to generate a downloadable, downloadable file. And that file can be named by me and I can create that file and thereafter download that file to my uh, desktop. Another extremely good feature is the ability for the user to track the amount of data or the volume of logs that are being sent into SAL. So we have a historical monthly usage meter right here that shows over the period of the last 12 months, what is the volume of logging that I sent into SAL. This particular feature is used by a number of our customers who undergo the SAL trial for 60 days to try and estimate the amount of licensing logging volume that they need to purchase for their SAL licenses. So this is essentially the consolidated view of the logs that are stored in the cloud available for SAL. Coming back to the monitoring tab, I see another sub tab here called security analytics. Clicking on the security analytics tab cross launches me to a new tab, which will take me directly to another Cisco product, which is StealthWatch Cloud. The way I can connect these two is I'll have the commonality of name across both the CDO tenant as well as the StealthWatch Cloud tenant. StealthWatch Cloud is a behavioral threat engine that allows the logs that are in SAL to be sent through advanced threat detections for alerting the user on any behavioral uh, anomalies in their environment. As you can see, we have visualized the traffic that is flowing over the last uh, 24 hours. You can see the internal and external IPs and the bi-directional communications that have been established. All of the traffic, inbound, outbound, the encrypted traffic, the top devices, the top DNS services, as well as I can go ahead and set uh, some high-risk countries that I want to monitor. And as and when any communication happens with these countries, uh, I will be alerted. Now these, when I navigate to the alert right here, this shows me the open alerts that have been triggered in StealthWatch Cloud based on the analysis of the firewall data that I was visualizing in CDO. This is a very important concept to understand that both FTD connection level logs, as well as the ASA NCEL, which is the NetFlow security event logs, can be analyzed through StealthWatch Cloud detections for producing alerts, which show a deviation from the normal behavior of the network. So these are non-signature based alerts that are available to the user. Now, I certainly don't expect a security operations executive or an operator to sit on this and look for alerts all day. So what is also available through StealthWatch Cloud is native integrations. So through webhooks and programmatic integrations, uh, you can program your StealthWatch Cloud portal to send alerts to other places. And in this case, I've shown you how I could configure my alerts to go into my Splunk instance. And not only are the alerts available through Splunk, but through APIs, Splunk can also pull the constituent observations uh, or evidence that has gone into making that alert. So that in a nutshell is Cisco security analytics and logging. Now you may have noticed that Cisco security analytics and logging does not possess any user interface of its own, but instead reuses the Cisco Defense Orchestrator for log viewing and the StealthWatch Cloud interface for alerting the user to advanced threats. Keep in mind that SAL licenses provide the right to use both these constituent products without the need to have separate licenses for these products. Furthermore, the devices producing the logs that I demoed today, both the Cisco Firepower Threat Defense devices, as well as the adaptive security appliances, 
can both be managed either via CDO, which is a great management platform, but they could also be managed by any other Cisco firewall manager, such as FMC, CSM, FDM, or ASDM. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.